It's not every day we get to go riding on a trail system that isn't even open yet. Hi, everybody. I'm Corinne Smart. And I'm Steve Human. Join us today as we're previewing the next big trail loop out in Duchesne County. Where is it and when will it open? We've got all the details for you later in the show. Zach. What are you up to today? Glad you asked, Steven, because today I'll be proving that I have the strongest legs out of the entire AYL crew. Uh, I don't know about that, but you sure can eat more than anybody hey, on the crew. I'm still like growing. On the outdoors right now with AYL. past 15 years as states like Utah have moved away from cross-country off-highway travel, it seems we've been inundated with stories of trail closure. It hasn't all been bad news though, as some of the most extensive ATV trail systems in the world have been developed in that time to feed our desire to explore. You have the Paiute, Shoshone, Arapine, Fremont, and you're about to get another one right outside the adventure hub of Duchesne. It's going to be dubbed the Badlands, and it's on its way. So we're giving you a little preview of the Badlands Trail System. I'm Corinne Smart. And I'm Stephen Human, and we are out here in Duchesne County, Utah. This is one of those spots where, you know, people just don't usually think about coming here. You know, I don't know why, because look at what we got here. What I like the most is that the trees have a howling sound. Oh, with you the wind? It's a little creepy, but it's <laughs> still pretty. So come out here and be creeped out. Well, so we're going we're gonna to show you a little bit about the, the, the trail system. Part of it is open now. Part of it is going to be open in the next few months. We're going to talk to the experts, find out what went into getting this thing open. But right now, how about we take a look at just the area that's already here and what you can experience. When I describe this place to a lot of the close friends that I bring out here, uh, they've got that tainted image that there's not much color. And when I show them pictures of the forest that's up here, I mean, we're right next to the Ashley National Forest. People don't realize just how great the scenery is out here. There's a lot of trails that are out here. We're coming into the, the Badlands Trail System that should hopefully be completed in the next couple of months. Uh, really looking forward to taking my family on that adventure. My great-grandfather had originally homesteaded in this canyon in the 30s and was one of the people who put this road in the canyon. When I was about five, six years old, we thought we owned the whole canyon. <laughs> so, you know, they built this road in, in the early 30s. And my dad was with them. He was about four or five years old. So a lot of old Jeep trails, old cow trails and stuff like that. and. For the most part, most of them are all wide enough for side-by-sides. Yeah, I just think that this is one of those sort of gems that, that's hidden amongst all the stones and you've got to look for it. But once you find it, you're amazed that you didn't know more about it. What'd you do? <laughs> I don't know what I did. What happened? That is poop. <laughs> what a freaking bowl. He ran over poop and it got all over me. <laughs> Apparently, I ran over poop. Oh, where is that poop in my hair? Get out! What is that poop in my hair? I called in sick today. <coughs> if I had an endless supply of means, there's nowhere else I'd be. I'd be out of the city in a heartbeat, and I'd just be in the country doing what my grandfather did. Come out here and just work the land and, and live out here. I think that Duchesne County has been heavily shadowed by other areas of the state that have been publicized more, have had more exposure, and uh, I think Duchesne unfortunately has been overlooked for so many years. And if people just stop to take time to learn about the history, the families, I think they'd get a lot from it. So sharing it with the public, you know, I mean, as a landowner, all I do is I ask for, you know, the respect of, you know, leave things where you find them. And, I think it's fantastic. I love it out here. All right, well, I'm excited to see where the trail is actually going from here. So how about we head out to where they're currently cutting? Only if you gave me the keys. No, I want to try. No, I want to drive. Why do you drive? Case, it's a brand new machine. Give me the freaking keys. <laughs> okay, well, let's head off to Zach for our travel adventure. 
Welcome back to At Your Leisure. Okay, so this land is a potential connecting trail section for the Badlands Trail System. So it's gonna connect Argyle and Sowers Canyon together. Yeah, so this is trust land linking to BLM land, and they're in the NEPA process right now, which is an environmental survey. And by next summer, hopefully if everything goes through, the trail will cut right along here, all the way up top, and you'll be able to ride all the way down here and see into Colorado. It's gonna be awesome. This has been a great process. Why don't we find out what it takes to actually get a trail like this put together? really excited about this trail system that we're trying to work in. It's called the Badlands Trail Group. We've had a committee meeting for about three years now. We are really close to our first loop. Where our trailhead is going to start, actually across this valley, over in the trees, the green trees, as you start up the top, is a Viniquin campground, and that will be the starting point of our trailhead. The Forest Service has agreed to convert that, and we're looking forward to that and they are planning to do that this summer. In Duchesne County, we have some unique challenges, uh, starting with the Ute Tribe. They do not allow ATV access on any of their property, so the first thing we have to do is make sure that we're not infringing on any tribal lands. We don't want to do that. That's their sovereign land, and we respect that. We have a mixture of state land, BLM land, federal land, and private land ownership that we all have to mitigate and navigate to get our trail systems established. And so that's where the process comes in and working with such great partners to be able to accomplish those goals. So it's not just identifying the road, that's the easy part. Then comes all the work of getting all those approvals and those right of ways in place so that people can ride safely, can ride legally, and have a great time and great views. We have kind of a mini part of every other part of the state. We have a mini Grand Canyon. We have a mini Goblin Valley. We have a mini Yellowstone. All these little mini parts that you can come and experience quickly in a day and not have to spend a week exploring the huge areas that are in the southern part of our state, which are gorgeous, but you can do them here quicker. And we're hoping, uh, crossing our fingers, that by next summer, the complete first loop will be done. So Steve, this right here is going to be where the new trail is. And actually right now, this is a legal crossing for side-by-sides. So the highway is? Yeah, right here. Oh, that's so cool. So you can actually come up right here and go across the highway. Yeah, and down there you can actually see the old wagon trail that they're gonna make. This trail is really cool and imagine how it's gonna be next year. That'll be great. I'm excited to come check it out when it's done. <laughs> All right, well now we have to go off to our trailhead adventure brought to you by Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com. Well, we're here in Duchesne County and so we figured we're with the right people to find out why this area has become such a haven for summer events. Now, if you want to come out here and explore some of the trails we have today, we're just right off Highway 191, just out of Duchesne, just south of Duchesne, about half hour's drive. Cool. Hey, did you know that the Highway 191 actually goes all the way to Canada? I did not know that. Now you know. I knew it goes to Moab. That's where I, when I found out it was 191, I was like, that's weird, but it's the northern end of 191. Yeah. Well, we got to go. Remember, as we always say, get out and create your own adventures at, at your leisure. leisure. How come you guys never talk to me? Shut up, Zach. I've been back here the whole time. We should never take him again. Highway 91 goes all the way to Canada. It's 191. But hey, oh. you know, we don't, the, the audience doesn't need to have what's right. Highway 191. Anyway, we got to go.